something in my throat from lunch. <coughs> Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and today we're going to be drawing Master Chief from the Halo series. Believe it or not, the Halo franchise is 15 years old. And I remember back in the early 2000s when the hype for the Xbox was at its peak and Halo gameplay was just recently released. It was around the time that my interest in gaming was sort of starting to fade. But I do remember that gameplay and I thought how amazing that game was. And that game of course was Halo Combat Evolved. And that was the time that we got introduced to Master Chief, also known as John 117 or John 117. Anyway, his Mjolnir armor has gone through a lot of evolutions. But today in this drawing, I'm going to be focusing on Mjolnir Mark VI. What you guys need for this drawing, as usual, is a pencil, an eraser, and any type of white paper. I do like to use cardstock in mine to make it easier for me to erase without wrinkling my paper. And as an option, a black pen so you can ink your drawings right afterwards. Remember that as you're watching this video, you have the ability to pause it at any time that you want so you can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Having said all of that, Let's get right to it. So we're gonna start off with a circle uh, in the middle of our page. Okay, now we're going to start shaping the helmet. Let me zoom in on my camera here. We're gonna start shaping this helmet so that it is uh, going to be looking in this direction. So I'm gonna start off by making this circle um, a little more like a helmet. Uh, kind of looks like a motorcycle helmet at first. So this little section of the circle, I'm gonna make a little corner. And then here, I'm just gonna draw a faint line going down. And then I'm gonna extend this over here. And just like that. Now, Draw this lightly. And that goes out like that. I'm gonna... So, uh, we draw the back of the helmet here. I mean, at this little bump right there. And extend that a little higher. And then I'm just gonna bring it like this. Now, like I said, don't draw this any darker than you really should because it'll make it harder for you to erase things. There you go. Now, let's uh, figure out proportion. From here, you want to move to this side of um, the helmet here. So we're going to draw a faint line just like that. I wanna, you want to make everything as faint as possible. Because right now, we're still trying to figure out the proportions. And here, we're going to draw a little... Uh, line like this, bring it this way, and right around here we're gonna bring that line down, and then the line going across, and then here we start with the line going down, okay, and then here line across, and right around here goes down, not that much, and then goes this way, goes down again. erase the initial circle that we did. Okay, that looks good. Right around here, we're going to draw a little, right about here, we're going to draw a line like this, and then a line going, two lines going out from that line, so it makes that, um, it makes that distinct Master Chief helmet look at the very top of that helmet there. This goes out like that, and then this goes out right around there. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to bring this down like that. Draw that line. And then right about here, draw that. Actually, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to bring it higher up. Again, we're 
still drying very lightly. There you go. Draw a line right here, and this is the front of the helmet. And we're gonna draw the little pattern of cords right around the side. There you go. And bring this further back. Just like that. I'm gonna have to round this off a little bit. And I'm gonna just fix up the visor part of the helmet. I think we've got the general shape. Let me just draw this one more time. I'm gonna draw another line going down over here. There you go. And then let's draw the neck. It goes down over here, and then right around here goes down as well. And then just closes off. So round it off at the bottom. There you go. All right, so now we are pretty much ready to add the details to the helmet. Where do we start? Let's start over here and let's start to shape this the way that we want. Okay. So I'm gonna start off in this corner, round that off and draw a line from here all the way he here all the way here. And I want to make that a little bit darker. Okay, make sure it's straight. Then as you reach here, you want to flatten it out like that. Now, right around here, I'm going to draw a diagonal line. And then I'm going to draw a line going across. narrower on this side than it is on this side and that's how you want it to be okay and then as you reach here you want to bring this down like that okay actually this line you want to angle it a little bit just like that and it goes back the way that we want it. Okay. Now the rest uh, of the top here, I'm gonna draw a little, uh, a little um, line over here that's curved. Let's erase that. And now this goes up, and it goes forward, and it goes towards this little corner that we made right there. So. Tilt your paper if you need to. That's what I'm going to do. It makes it easier for me to draw the curves. Now when I draw the curves, you notice that I'm using my wrist to turn my pencil and I'm not using my fingers to do it. Using your fingers is um, makes it more difficult and you won't get as smooth a curve if you use your fingers. Okay, so that's how we want it. Uh, right here again, I'm gonna bring this up and then makes a very slight curve just like that. And then we're gonna follow along the edge, uh, the top of the helmet and we're gonna bring it down to here. There you go. And now from here, we're gonna do a half circle from here to here, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw another line underneath. There you go right around here. I'm gonna draw a line going up, a line going across, and then one going back down, just like that. And I'm gonna find this point and this point, and we're going to connect them. There you go. And 
Now, let's do the top of the visor here. Draw a line across like this. And then another one going this way. Until you reach about here. At this point, you go up. Across again. And down. Across again. And I'll leave it like that for a bit. I'm just erasing things so that it's easier for you to see. And then from here, we're going to find this point right here. I'm going to connect that. Okay, and then from here, we're going to draw a line going down. And then from here, we're going to draw a line going out. I'm going to make this line thick. I'm going to actually draw another line. Right there. And I'll leave that for now. I'm going to go back over here. And I want to clean this up. So I've got, I've got these lines. I'm going to erase right here. And I'm going to, from here, I'm going to draw a line going in. And then out like that. And then, of course, right here, I'm going to draw a line like that. And then a diagonal line like this. And another line from here. And it goes down to the corner. Now from this corner, I'm going to draw this line right there. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes to the visor. Okay, that's good. I'm going to bring the visor a little bit more forward. You don't have to do it if you think that your visor um, placement is fine. I'm just going to bring mine a little bit more this way. All right. Now that we got that, let's uh, start over here and we're going to start drawing the top of the um, eyepiece, the where he looks out of. So I'm going to draw this line and then another line going down like that. And then I'm going to from here, I'm going to draw a line across, and this is going to be the top. Now right here, I'm going to draw a line going across, or not across, it goes around the helmet, and goes up at the top, and then meets over here as well. There you go. And this is, going to, this is going to be the underneath that the helmet, or the underneath this little, I don't know what to call it. Um, there you go. So I'm going to draw a line like this. So from here going down this way, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. From here it goes down this way. And I'm just going to, that one goes out like this. This one extends this way. And then it goes this way. And down like this. And then I'm going to draw that line just like that. Now I'm going to find a spot over here. I'm going to draw a line out, another one over here. And I'm going to draw a curve. There you go. Now, from here, I'm going to draw a line going down and then the line going diagonal. And the line going down again. And here we go, line diagonal and across. From here, line across. And then it goes diagonal like this. Diagonal again, and then across again. Another one here goes across. This time it goes down like that. Okay, now the top of the helmet here, and the actual visor, line across, down, across, and up. It goes all the way up like that. 
and then right here we're going to draw another line going down. And what you want to do is you want to find the center of the helmet and it goes right around here. Because this would be, this right here would be the center of it. What you want to do is you want to draw a line, a curved line. Make sure this line curves along with the visor. You want to bring that down, across, and up to that line that you just did. And then let's draw another line down here, a smaller one, curve it, then down, cross, diagonal, then straight down, and then diagonal this way. It goes up, and then across again. And then beneath that, we're going to draw a diagonal line, and then a line going across, and then we'll do that again, across, and this one. This time we're going to go down. There you go. Let's draw this side of the helmet now. And at this point, we're going to bring it down like that. Okay. We're going to draw a line going across, same same. Same angle as this, so it's parallel to that. Line going down, and then line going diagonal. I'm going to draw another line right here, and another line right here. Right here is going to be a little bit tricky, because you want to create a three-dimensional look to it, and that's what this is. It's not quite a sharp edge, but it's a curve. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this line, going down like that. But from here, I'm going to draw a line across, and then I'm going to draw a line going parallel to this line to about here. And then I'm going to yeah, continue on these lines that we've already drawn, and then close them off. Now this is meant to be underneath the helmet here. It's supposed to be under, and this is supposed to be the side, if you know what I mean. Okay. Now we're going to draw a line across over here. And then when we get here, we're going to draw... Actually, we're going to draw a slightly angled line, so it's not all the way. It doesn't go down straight. It goes slightly this way. Up to this point right here. Okay. Once we get here, let's uh, close that off just like that. Angle down, and this one is a another angle, but n not as steep as this one. This one's kind of a it's got a very very steep angle right here. And this one is not as steep. Okay, draw a second set of lines inside, and then draw two ovals inside that. Just like that. Here at the bottom, we're going to draw a line across like this, and another one over here. Make sure that they don't meet up. These two do not meet. Draw a line across like that. Actually, I'm going to... There you go. I've angled it slightly because I want to draw this line down here like that. And that's good. Now this line is going to go up, and then across like this, actually across, and then here we're going to draw a line going across like that. Good. So we got this. Now let's go over here. So from from here, we're going to draw a line going down to here. So I'm going to tilt my page. There you go. And then Right here, we're going to draw a line across, and then let's bring these lines down. 
actually from here you want to draw another line going across. So I'll do that. Just like that. Alright. Now, let's find the guidelines actually. I'm just going to erase those lines. They're meant to be faint anyway. I just darkened them for my tutorial so that it's easier to see on camera. But what we're going to do is once we get here, we're going to draw an angled line like that and then a line going down. And same thing right here. An angle like this. Okay. Now let's find another spot on this draw line like this and then a line across. We're going to bring this and angle it like this. And we're going to actually stop right here and we're going to bring it this way. And then from here we're going to bring it down to this corner. I'm going to draw another line right here. Close that off. From here I'm going to angle, draw a line going down and then going across and then up again. Like that. Right here, line across, and then up. And another one right there. Now draw a line going down. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to make it so that it kind of looks like a letter H. There you go. And then from here, I'm just going to draw a line underneath going across like that. I'm going to find, yeah, I'm going to draw the other side of this. Uh, this is actually meant to be, yeah, underneath the helmet here. So it goes like this, across, and then up slightly, and then across again, like that. And this is kind of obscured by dark shadows uh, in my reference drawing, but I think it goes, um, let's just bring it all the way here. There you go. All right, now there's a little hose that goes over here. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go across, curve, and we're gonna draw a line parallel to the line we drew earlier. It goes across like that. Now we're gonna draw the hose. So this, uh, we're gonna draw slight, a small, small part right here, and the rest of them are going to be evenly spaced, just like that. Okay, and lastly we're going to draw a line from here up. We are almost done you guys, let's draw the back of the helmet here now. I'm actually going to bring this one a little bit closer this way. So line going down, and then up slightly, and then across slightly, and then down at an angle, and then to the helmet. And then here we're going to draw a line going down, and we're going to curve it like this. And then inside we're going to do it again, curve, and it goes back out like that. And this one kind of runs along that same curve, just like that. And then his neck comes out of the back right there. There you go. And over here, line going down. And we're going to bring this line all the way to the back to right here. So, there you go. And then we're going to draw another one underneath that. So, let's draw this curve first, and then we're going to draw this curve. And then here and here, from here to here. And then we're going to do it one more time.
there you go. And I believe we are finished. Let's clean up our lines a little bit and I think we're good to go. Just, let's just draw this line right here and this line right here. I'm not going to continue those and I'm just going to draw the back of the armor, the Mjolnir, right there. And that's it, you guys. That is how you draw Master Chief's Mark VI Mjolnir helmet. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video tutorial. I hope your drawings of Master Chief turned out great. And if they did, and if you're proud of it, I would love to see it in the Google Plus community. So go ahead and post your artwork in the community. And if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps content creators like me so I can sustain making videos for you guys for free. So thank you so much for your support. Question of the day, what is your favorite first person shooter game? an Xbox PlayStation on PC. Just let me know in the description below which one is your favorite and why. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here on this channel, I show you guys how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button that's just below me right here. And if you like this tutorial or you found it helpful, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked it comment it below or share this video with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Google Plus, and my own website, draw2.com, where you can also download a free coloring page of Master Chief. So go ahead to draw2.com so you can download your coloring page for free. Again, all of the links are in the description below. Having said all of that, you guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw 2. We'll see you in my next video. <laughs> oh, jeez.